Hi everyone. Good morning. Hi, Hi Shelpa. Thank you for joining. Hi Hello. Ken. Nice to see you. Hi, Hi Ian. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah. All right, I think uh, we will, I have to uh, drop at nine, uh, at 30 minutes past the hour, just because uh, I have a uh, follow-up meeting right after. <laughs> but uh, uh, again, you know, we just wanted to sync up today, this morning, uh, kind of wanted to give a couple of updates. Uh, and again, if you have any agenda topics, you know, let's, uh, Happy to discuss. Let's see. Let me bring up the uh, doc that we typically use. All righty. Let me share the link. I think that's the link uh, again you know please feel free to add your topics if you have any to discuss yeah, i think capital one doesn't let me even access the document really <laughs> yeah. okay yes that that ha that um happens actually we end up using them <laughs> Gmail accounts, it's just easier. <laughs> That's a good idea. Should do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you able to view the doc? Um not even not even viewing. Um <clears throat> I see. Okay, okay. No worries. I'll I will I'll share. So no worries at all. Um okay, let me just share on the screen and that should be easy to do. Okay, so um I think, uh, Shilpa, I'll just add your name. Uh, and Ian, I'll add yours too. Are you able to, Ian, um, access the, at least see the doc? Yes, thank you. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. So, uh, I think I had a couple of topics and I just wanted to kind of uh, remind folks, I think KubeCon, uh, NA uh, at Salt Lake City, um, we have submitted a uh, tag update talk. So usually uh, some of us who are working actively, you know, on, on some of the tag work groups as well as um, provide an update, you know, there is a track for supporting the tags. Um, and uh, again, if there are specific uh, stories or case studies that you want to share, or some of the pain points that, you know, you're seeing as you use different observability components, we try to invite folks, you know, to kind of give a short update or, uh, and, and also as a you know, group that actually interacts uh, and heavily is, you know, kind of end user focused. We also do want to kind of highlight some of the uh, concerns and, and also the benefits of using open source uh, observability components, especially from CNCF and cloud native, you know, implementations. So that's, that's a, usually a tag update session. Uh, which I just wanted to, you know, make sure everybody was aware of. Again, we have submitted it. Uh, submission doesn't guarantee acceptance, but typically there is a uh, maintainer track that helps. Um, the other uh, aspect that I did want to call out uh, is uh, that if, in case you're, uh, uh, you know, looking for sponsorship for travel as well as for attendance, there is a again one of the benefits of attending the tag um, is that you can if you are actively participating in the tag or uh, you know kind of leading one of the work groups it does help in applying for uh, you know from the Linux Foundation there is a fund that typically supports maintainers so if in case you know your company is being conservative or yeah or you know it's it's uh, difficult to travel, then they at least, you know, you can apply for 
uh, sponsorship and, you know, typically the foundation is very supportive of contributors, you know, in the, uh, in the larger ecosystem, right? So again, just wanted to kind of uh, remind folks of that. So again, if, if you're saying, thinking about, you know, should I travel to Salt Lake or not, Salt Lake City or not, it's something that is available. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions, please ask. If I don't know about something, I'll do and find out. Uh, but definitely, you know, please don't be shy. If you are planning to attend and can, you know, your schedule permits, please do join in. Um, are there other activities that you would like to see from the tag at the uh, at KubeCon? Uh, we do try to use this update session for everyone to kind of gather up and meet each other in person. But if there are other um, activities, um, is this something that, you know, would you would be interested in, which we can help organize? I mean, again, you don't have to answer me right now. It's more than I'm just placing these ideas, you know, with you so that think about it. If there's if there are areas, you know, that you'd like to see more of, then we can certainly, you know, work together to get get some of these uh, called out. Yeah, that's that's a great idea, Lolita. I might be there. I would love to meet with you all in person and also probably have some topics. Um, yes. To go yes. Absolutely. And and you know, again. As I said, we can also use some part of the tag update session uh, for, you know, again, highlighting some of the um, benefits as well as pain points that exist with different observability, you know, stacks uh, and technologies that are, pro you know, the various projects are building in the CNCF uh, and also, you know, integration as well as other you know, areas of heavy lifting that uh, we all end up kind of working on, right? So again, this is a good opportunity to call that out. If you're interested, again, you know, happy to support and set up the tag session uh, to be able to, you know, kind of do that. Because we usually do like we pick up sp specific topics in that area and, you know, we kind of focus in on giving updates as well as feedback coming in from users. We do spend some time uh, looking at that and also looking at, you know, what's happening at large in the industry in terms of observability, you know, technology trends, uh, what are some of the areas that get are, you know, being focused on both by end users as well as by projects based on, you know, feedback coming in from vendors who participate there or other independent developers. Uh, and, and, you know, again, the objective really is to use this as a session for strategic as well as tactical feedback that it goes back to the projects as well as the CNCF, um, you know, various bodies of the CNCF, whether that's the TOC or whether that is, you know, again, even the end, new end user tab, uh, you know, which is the newly created uh, technical uh, advisory board from end users that the CNCF has kicked off this year. So um, given I interact with both, again, happy to connect folks, you know, if you're interested in kind of diving deeper or getting more involved there. But uh, please, please, you know, reach out to me if you are, you know, thinking about some of these areas, happy to help you. Okay, um, I think those were the two parts around KubeCon that I had. And also you may have seen there is the observability day that is co-located with that. Uh, and uh, again, that's usually a one day event for folks who have not attended it, focused on observability, you know, uh, stacks which are being worked on features as well as improvements, as well as, you know, case studies that are shared uh, before, um, before the KubeCon, you know, conference kick, kicks off. So it's it's the day before. Um, okay, that's one of the areas that I wanted to kind of bring up. Um, the other area also is in case, you know, you're, you're on the West Coast and your schedule permits, we do have an APAC session that we have started once a month. Uh, and uh, it's typically at, in the evening, so on Pacific time. So it's, uh, I think it's uh, 
5 or 6, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. in the evening Pacific time, which is, you know, sometimes convenient for folks um, after work. We still do it on a Tuesday evening Pacific time. Uh, so we will be having a session. We're planning to have a session on uh, runtime instrumentation for Go uh, in that session uh, from one of the, you know, presenters and uh engineers who is working on uh, this implementation from Asia. So that's that's one of the, we try to do talks and discussions there because again, there's been a lot of interest, uh, you know, from our APAC community um, to, to also join in, right? So uh, this is on Tuesdays, Tuesday evening, Pacific time. Uh, I think it is five to 6 p.m. Pacific time and uh, Wednesday Asia time morning APAC time. So we have that next uh, one on the second Tuesday. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay. Um, any other topics that uh, folks had? I think, oh, hi, Matt. Thank you for joining. That's nice to see you. Um, I think uh, the other uh, update I wanted to provide is that we are working with the TOC, typically the tag. Uh, sorry, Shilpa, you had your hand up. Please, sorry, please go ahead, Alita. Like, um, I have a couple of topics. Maybe we can go. Okay. To yes, yes, to totally. I, just this one topic, I want to just give an update that... Uh, we are uh, working with the TOC to provide feedback on some of the uh, observability projects that typically go through the incubation, you know, landing into sandbox and then going into incubation. So the TAG as a specialized body focused on observability typically, you know, looks at the proposals of uh, and reviews them. Uh, and we have done that for cube cost again. Just wanted to let you know the larger uh, community know that hey, you know we are looking at cube cost. Uh, we have provided input in the in the past, but uh, we are also you know uh, in the process of uh, providing final feedback uh, for for to the TOC. So. This is again for cube cost as well as um, chaos blade, which is another project again for chaos testing, especially uh, for um, scalable observability stacks. So again, if you're interested, uh, let me know. But uh, these the all of these uh, you know processes are transparent and publicly documented on the PRs on the TOC repo and under CNCF. So if you're looking at any specific, you know, applications and proposals, technical proposals and, you know, requests from the projects to move to the next state, they're typically, you know, again, if they are in the observability domain, they're evaluated by the uh, tags. So um, yeah, just wanted to let you know that that's something in progress from the tag. Matt, did you add? Uh, did you want anything uh, to be added here? Okay. Um, again, moving on. Um, I guess Matt will speak when he can. Uh, Shilpa, the did you have some topics? Yeah, Lolita. <clears throat> so we adopted um, a decoupled processor to observe our lambda workloads. Mm -hmm. Without cool. doing a whole lot of overhead, and I think it's working out well so far. Nice. Nice. So we can present the topic um, if folks are interested. Yeah, I think. Uh, do you have a presentation that? Uh, not not today, but for one of the future sessions. Yeah, that would be awesome. I could bring in one of our lead engineers who worked on it. Wonderful. Yeah. Presentation proposal. Uh, absolutely. You're welcome to present. Let me know when we have the next sure. meeting in two Tuesdays. So. Um, if you have a deck handy, absolutely sure. welcome you to present. Sounds great. Yep. Now that's one topic, and one more is um, we have a 
Ben Trainer visiting um, Capital One. Maybe not in person. It could all be virtual also. Sure. He's coming in as a guest speaker. Now, in that context, I was thinking like uh, we would love to have you also, Lalita. Like if at all that works for you, like sometimes. Sure, like... sure. <laughs> we we all participate in different yes. areas. So happy to be great. Uh, yeah, help. Some, yeah. As a guest speaker. <laughs> Totally. Let, let us, Especially because we let are not know. having open telemetry big time across the enterprise. Okay. <laughs> so. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, uh, definitely. I mean, anywhere where I do actively work on open telemetry. So, you know, again, if there is any areas that I can help with, mm -hmm. uh, happy to join in. Um, and I think, uh, Ken, uh, again, did you want to cover some of the areas you've been digging into uh, in terms of some of the observability project stacks? Because I, think... I could do, yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a while, but yeah, I can certainly uh, look into that. <laughs> I think that would be a good thing <laughs> to, to kind of dig in. So Ken, uh, again, uh, for others who don't uh, are not familiar, perhaps Ken has led our Kubernetes uh, um, observability, you know, work group. And uh, he has kind of helped in, uh, you know, not only building out some of the standardized, uh, I guess, uh, instrumentation, you know, tooling, if you will, uh, but also, <clears throat> you know, worked with the instrumentation SIG back and forth, uh, on on resolving some of the, um, I would say, evolution of instrumentation for metrics in, and uh, tracing in uh, KTS. Yeah, it's uh, I, I haven't done a lot recently, but yeah, I have been involved with the semantic conventions around messaging in particular, and then some of the implementation stuff on the Java side as well over mm -hmm. the last few years. So again, you know, if if any of you have questions in those areas, I think uh, can one of the areas might might be useful for us to uh, call out on our uh, tag uh, repo is perhaps you know expertise areas for different folks where if uh, folks have questions, then you know we can kind of uh, also have more deeper you know evaluation from folks who are involved in different areas. Because I think we do that on open telemetry because, you know, the project is so large. So therefore, yeah. we try to kind of call out here different areas of expertise, you know, for different maintainers or different experts in the industry where, you know, it's an easier way for um, end users to connect into, into that uh, ecosystem, right? No, so, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because uh, I think that helps in everyone kind of being able to also... Um, highlight their specializations if you will <laughs> yeah. it's a very large area so you know it's like you can't assume if somebody is kind of dug into tracing uh for example they don't necessarily dig deeper into metrics and um <clears throat> it's just an example Yeah, and no, I think that would definitely be uh, good for the community to have uh, a means of for particular topics and areas as like who are the go-to people to kind of ask if they're stuck or yes. sure what their next steps are. Yeah, exactly. Um, Shapa, thank you for the uh, title because, again, uh, that is super helpful. We will also spread the word. Uh, if, if, you know, once you confirm that your team is available to present, uh, for the next tag session or whenever. So we do, you know, sessions every, every couple, you know, uh, first and third Tuesdays. Definitely. I think next two, next uh, two weeks from now might not work very well. We have like um, core all hands. Okay. Um, the one after should work. Sure, sure. No worries, no worries. I mean, again, just let us know what works for you. I'll do. All righty, coolness. Um... Ian, did you have some topics that you wanted to talk about or cover? Uh, no, I'm. I'm. Uh, I, I used to come to these meetings a while ago. Uh, yeah. I'm just getting back into it. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. So no, no, no topics as of yet. Appreciate okay. Okay. No worries. But uh, again, don't be shy. You know, please, please do ask as you get more involved, and you know, kind of get 
uh, deeper into some of the areas that you know we're all working on. Um, so Neil, did you have any questions or any topics? Okay, and and I guess Matt is joining in, but you know, again, I don't know if he's able to talk with us or not because he may be driving. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on an extremely bandwidth limited situation. Okay, okay, no worries. Totally uh, understand. Just moved, but I think this is a great idea, um, and we could, we, we yeah, we we also, um, I suppose we we could. I think we have an issue somewhere for to create a fact or. Um, you create like a list of uh, like what are the topics people would like to talk about in their organizations. Yes. I know we've been tracking that informally for some time, but I I, I wonder if, if we might formalize that into like an issue type or something like that so that we could at our next posting, you know, say, hey, if they're, you know, call for call for topics, what are, you know, or, or maybe we could even, I suppose, work with the end user uh, group and and have a survey uh, that they facilitate of members to see you know what observability topics are pressing in, in today's organizations. Um, you know we're 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 all we're all steeped in it, so it's easy for us to forget that. Yes, yes. You know so the topics that we might find interesting for for an expert talk or something um, might might be might might not be what's actually needed. So I like the idea of connecting with some actual data um, to inform that. This is all great stuff. And again, apologies for the bandwidth. I'll, I'll yeah, no worries, by, Matt. By no, I, I think that's a great suggestion. In fact, um, um, what I'd like to, you know, to spend a couple of minutes on is uh, giving an update uh, from the end user, you know, uh, tab, uh, which has actually been focusing on a, you know, uh, working towards, as a work group, working towards, um, what reference architectures mean for end users. And uh, one of the areas, you know, obviously of uh, top interest is observability. Uh, you know, and, and again, these are not recommendations. These are actually just knowledge sharing across uh, different, you know, reference stacks that end users have adopted. Uh, and uh, what, you know, the uh, actual landscape looks like, because as we all know, you know, if we look at the observability project landscape today within the CNCF, there are certain areas which are quite rich in feature sets, uh, connection, for example, or um, metric storage, for example, with Prometheus or, you know, Thanos and Cortex for multi-tenancy and distributed architectures. So there are, a, you know, great projects and frameworks for certain areas, but then there are also gaps. For example, um, a lot of the work that is happening in observability visualization uh, is uh, typically the, you know, the platform of choice is Grafana, which is, you know, also an open source project, but um, uh, it's also that there are other projects now kicking off, uh, such as Persis, uh, which I'm not sure if many of you have heard about, but, you know, Persis is a really uh, gaining a lot of popularity as an alternative visualization platform, and it is an Apache 2 project. Uh, so there are new projects that are happening in the space, but there are also gaps in the CNCF landscape, for example, with tracing storage, right? I mean, there is uh, Jaeger that can handle uh, that today, but, you know, again, at scale, what are some of the solutions that are available, right? So again, I think the end user reference architectures, uh, the objective really there is to identify, you know, what are some of the areas their reference architectures exist with uh, open source frameworks versus, you know, what um, are some of the gaps, right? Which are then filled in by vendors in, you know, different solutions or, you know, many times it is a completely end-to-end -end vendor solution. But here the idea really is uh, with reference architectures is to identify 
what are some of the common design patterns in reference architectures that end users, you know, at scale are adopting? And what are some of the pain points that exist in that stack, you know, to that need to be addressed or should be addressed, you know, in, in the open source uh, world, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, going back to Matt's point, um, we are looking from an end user perspective of doing surveys. So it would be a great opportunity for us to kind of intersect and leverage that also for feedback on specific areas of work that the tag could actually help lead also. I think that's a great idea. Um, you know, the, I, I, we've heard anecdotally for years now that, you know, many end users, particularly the small to medium sized uh, end users might not have legal staffs that can process and understand non-Apache 2.0 or non-MIT licenses. And, you know, again, you know, we've heard it again anecdotally, um, you know, but consistently, um, including, you know, when I when I was at a smaller company that was an end user as well, um, it was just almost, if it, if it wasn't Apache 2.0, it wasn't really even something that, that, you know, our legal team of one, you know, in a company of 50 or something, you know, had, had capacity to even understand. And so, mm -hmm. you know, with the lens of what's not, not only what's there, you know, in the marketplace with various license types, open or not, um, or various levels of open, you know, there, there's almost a filter that I, I suspect many end users have that's just, you know, as it should be, I suppose, but, you know, if it's not Apache 2, then it's not a choice, really, pragmatically, right? So yes, uh, I, exactly. I, love, I love the idea of hearing, you know, and, and codifying these reference stacks that are, that, that speak to that that's that that type of end user but awesome agreed agreed i mean uh totally agree matt and i do think that this will help in um some of the codification and and just sharing of uh, you know what uh yeah. architectures exist or are you know kind of pervasive and in the cloud native space i know you've been working with that group more directly than I, what's the right way to interface? Like, do we open an issue in their repo or something? You yes, right? yes. The, okay. the repos are finally set so up uh, there, Matt, and we can easily open up issues, you know, to request specific areas of, you know, uh, engagement. Uh, and then I can help set up a discussion, you know, whether that's on Slack or on, you know, face-to-face -face on, uh, or virtually on uh, having yeah. some of the discussions in a deeper way. Yeah, well, then why don't we put it on the, let's put it on the agenda for our next meeting. Um, yeah. We're all on video anyway. <laughs> um, and we can put something out to the tag community and then we can, you know, in, in parallel go to them and tell them we're doing it. Yeah, because I think that, uh, you know, what a couple of areas that we can definitely leverage is a survey, uh, as, as, you know, we talked about kind of looking at survey topics. Um, and, uh, you know, and also, uh, contributing or, you know, helping, uh, with the reference architectures that are being discussed. Right. So again, I think the idea is to identify and knowledge share from the tab, uh, you know, about end user, uh, reference architectures, but because that is, you know, where the adoption cycle completes in one sense, right. It's the end users who at the end of the day, validate and you know the adoption and success of the uh, you know open source projects that are being worked on in the uh, in the CNCF and you know in the larger open source ecosystem but um uh it really is that you know kind of understanding some of the gaps and some of the changes because as we live in an evolving landscape you know their application development uh, and application implementation is changing architectures around that are changing, you know, with the new generation of Gen AI, for example. So, you know, there is some impact uh, in the change of how projects need to support feature sets, which may or may not be, you know, completely built out yet, right? So again, that's the idea of providing feedback. And there's a fair bit of discussion happening around this space. Uh, we do plan to, you know, from an end user perspective, we do plan to have more discussions at KubeCon uh, because, you know, there are a lot of end users also who join in there. Uh, so again, let's work from the tab also to, you know, intersect with that. 
Yeah, absolutely. We've got enough runway to put that report yeah. out at, at yes. Salt Lake City as well. Yeah, yeah, so, totally. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, I think. Hi, Alisa. I think, this is uh, Sunil. Sorry. Hi, Sunil. Um, I was. A, <laughs> hi. Good morning. No, good morning. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I had a uh, uh, few. Um. I guess. Uh. Uh. Proposals slash presentations is. Uh, we do a lot of automated pen testing, and that's where we see that uh, there's always the observability, uh, side of thing, which would yes, uh, which is going to be a great uh, to provide great insight for. Um, our clients. So uh, we are looking at how we can leverage the availability uh, uh, product to um, essentially the feedback. Uh, yeah. yeah get the feedback. So that's something which uh, uh, I look forward to talk about or present in the future. Awesome, awesome. That that would be great. And again, you know, um, we have an open issue. So I'll add these topics there also, Sunil. And again, whenever you guys are ready, you know, we can iterate. And uh, again, you know, please feel free to pull together 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever works for you in terms of talking and diving deep into um, how to leverage observability, you know, data, for example, for automated pen testing and security, other security aspects, because there is a fair bit of overlap there. And especially right. in the cloud native space, if you are building out, you know, large scale services or large scale uh, platforms, it is uh, super useful to call that out. Sure, so, definitely. Uh, thank you for you know suggesting that. Sure, um, and also one other, uh, 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 I would say the KubeCon upcoming KubeCon you mentioned the observability yeah. is. Uh, a co-located event, uh, which is happening like a day before the actual KubeCon? Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I haven't registered yet, so <laughs> I'll just make sure that I'll be there for observability. Yeah. 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 Well. I mean, <laughs> sign up sooner than later because the uh, prices keep going up, right, of right. registration. And also, if you need, um, you know, again... Uh, any kind of, uh, I mean, you have to be an active maintainer to tap into the Linux Foundation uh, requests, you know, for sponsorship. But um, again, if you have any questions, you know, ping me on Slack. Happy to find out more. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Totally. Um, again, I'm going to stop sharing because I have to drop. But um, are there any other topics you guys are welcome to continue on or whatever? you know, is convenient, or we can end 10 minutes early. Does that, should we work? Ending. I don't have anything <laughs> particular, no. Okay. <laughs> so I will stop sharing and um, promo codes. Sunil, I will try to see if I can get you uh, promo codes. Usually there are, but um, I think I will check to see if the tag can get promo codes because maybe we can use, uh, you know, the tag tag for requesting that. So I'll I'll circle okay, back and awesome. let you know on Slack. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. And if you need any volunteers for uh, the um, observability day, uh, I'll be more than happy. I'll to I'll keep you posted because I think. Sure. Um, the organizers, you know, usually do uh, encourage folks to come in and join in. So I'll find out more and circle back by the next meeting. All right, sure. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sure. thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank I you. have to drop, but uh, thank you, everyone, thanks, for joining in. Take thanks, care. Thanks, everyone. Thank Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.